I'm ready to get cute, take some pictures, turn up. Like I said, I got I got ready, ready. Like I'm ready to go. Like, 40 minutes flight and two Dallas hotel. We invite you to just back. I've been driving this car maybe like all of five minutes. I'm already ready to go back to my Beamer. And apparently they have donkeys that you can ride down to the bottom of this thing, sleep there overnight. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Pull up with some baddies in the new bins. All day ones, no new friends. Booty lint, 30 inch. All we do is trap, do the money then. Baddies, baddies. Hey baddies, welcome back to my channel. Before we go any further, whether you're a new baddie or you're one of my returning baddies, please make sure you are subscribed. If that subscribe button is red, there is a problem. It should be great. So, like I said, new baddies, welcome. If you're new to the channel, we post every Thursday on this channel. My returning baddies, hey. I am super, super, super duper excited, you all. The destination, as you all can tell from the title of the video today, we're gonna be going to the Grand Canyon. I am super excited. We are gonna be flying into Phoenix International Airport. And then from there, we're gonna be driving um, out. I got invited, like kind of spontaneously, like, hey, have you ever been to the Grand Canyon? I'm like, you know, I never have been to the Grand Canyon. And I really am not an outdoorsy person, but I said, you know, I wanna try new things. I'm shooting content for my channel. I figured, I was like, okay, let's go to the Grand Canyon and I can bring the baddies with me, period. Speaking of baddies and flying into Phoenix, this season on Baddies West, if you watch and keep up with the show, one of the places they went to was Mama Por Dios. So when they invited me, I was like, okay, we're flying into Phoenix. I'm like, if I'm gonna go, we gotta go to Mama Por Dios for dinner. Um, whenever I go on my trips, we like to do at least one dinner where you kind of get dressed up and formal. So, um... <laughs> I was like, as long as we go to Marvel Poor Deals, I go to the Grand Canyon. Kind of like give for give, because like I said, I'm not really an outdoorsy person. But it is the Grand Canyon. So I was like, okay, never been. I can check it off kind of my bucket list. And I can bring the baddies with me. So I'm super excited. Um, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I just got off of work. Yes, I have a 9 to 5. I always tell anybody, like, you always keep you a side hustle going youtube is not my full-time job yet so although we are looking into possibly moving forward with that way but you don't want to be out here chasing your dreams and you're broke you don't have any coins in your pocket obviously in order to go to places like the grand king you gotta have coins speaking of coins if you all look down in the description y'all can get that cash app if y'all want to give anything a dollar at this point if people say oh i don't want to just get 50 cents look money coins add up okay so if you all want to support the channel support my travels please do so it would be duly appreciated but although like i said i keep you a day job because you don't want to be broke out here doing youtube and you don't have any money so until we get monetized which we are moving towards that one of my goals is to get to at least a thousand subscribers with getting to a thousand subscribers i do want to do a giveaway for you all i feel like we don't talk about the giveaway too much but i am going to go through like my comments go through my emails go through the baddies and just randomly pick some names and i'm gonna send y'all some cash apps back in return when we do the giveaway when we get to a thousand subscribers so i'm super excited um like i said it's about three something in the morning my flight leaves at seven so i got a couple hours to get ready we used to have each other's playlists no no we used to be each other's best friends yeah now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mind Yeah And maybe we could try it next week Again But I don't wanna think we're toxic But who cares You said that we're over Hands under covers alone Got to Phoenix. We are on the way to go pick up our rental car. 
weird because like parts of the airport are old and parts of the airport are new. But we're going to pick up our rental car. But everything I see still reminds me of you. Bag of all your things, the memories of when I kissed you. Remember when we used to say to each other, We belong together, me and you forever. Been standing in line for maybe like 20 minutes. Not too bad. And then, is the address correct in your license? Yeah. I yeah, guess you have to go downstairs to actually pick it up. I'm gonna go pick up the rental car. I am not looking forward to this drive to the Grand Canyon, y'all. It is a couple hours, but we're gonna make this drive, okay? Um. I just, it was funny because when I was at the counter, the girl who checked me out, her name was Cheyenne. And it was funny because I was telling her, like, I remember, like, I feel like I'm getting old because I remember when I was not old enough to rent a car. And now that I'm old enough, it's so easy. You just give them your out of state driver's license and your credit card, and you're good to go. They literally hand you the keys to anything, especially if you're responsible. And normally when I rent, I go through Enterprise. So they already had me in the system, super quick and easy took her less than five minutes to sign everything and get the paperwork. Now we're gonna go pick up the keys. Baby, here's your chance. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop a load of this wine. Texas up in this All right, baddie. So we are in the rental. It is a Nissan Sentra. This is all they had. Um really to choose from um i've been driving this car maybe like all of five minutes i'm already ready to go back to my beamer like this car sits really really low like i feel like anyone who's driven like an suv especially the x5 model like you know how high it sits up so i can noticeably tell the difference but yeah so we're gonna get some breakfast and then um we're gonna head to the hotel so i'll see you baddie okay baddie so i am just now picking you all back up if you can tell anything from these mustard yellow walls and this brown door behind me this is as good as this room is going to get I'm gonna say that I just need to start being a little bit more pickier with my Marriott selections. But anyway, so this room, unfortunately, is not even worthy of a room tour. I'm literally gonna be here, I think I calculated it, added up the time, I'm gonna be here all of 12 hours uh, over the course of two nights and three days. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. But we're gonna have to start being a little bit pickier um, with the properties because they are not all of equal value so that's all I'm gonna say and that it's a property in Phoenix we just I love Marriott y'all know if it's not a Marriott we not check it in but this Marriott mm -mm. don't do that mm -mm. so um I just woke up and I am now about to do my makeup, get ready, going to Mama Portillo's for dinner. I'm super excited. Like I said, anybody who watched Baddies West, they know, y'all know, like that's one of the stops that they did when they came out here. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. The photos online look really good. The restaurant looks like it's giving aesthetics, but. Um, I'm sorry y'all, I know my face probably looks washed, I just woke up, but, um, but yeah, I'm about to get ready for dinner. Um, I'm a down south with a west coast vibe, keep the vans on when I slide, still bang scroll when I ride, palm trees when I'm... Fuck, got a big ass knife, like that, 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 like
He bought pieces of this, bought a big house, big pants, fudgy items when I go to pull out. Fuck outside, I'm a down south, with a west coast vibe. Keep them vans on when I slide. Still bang screw when I ride. When I walk outside, I'm a down Okay, bad fools. So we are back. I have some good news and I have some bad news. It's kind of dark. I'm trying to like manage here, but um, just something told me like while I was getting ready, like someone just like called the restaurant. So for like 20 minutes straight, 30 minutes straight, I'm calling no answer. So I said right before we left, I said I'm gonna call in one more time. Call somebody answer, and I was like, hey, what time? does your kitchen versus your bar close because a lot of places out here in phoenix they'll say they're open to 1 2 a.m but the kitchen closes at 10 or midnight so she was like well we're actually closed the next few days um we had some unexpected issues come up at the restaurant and i was like oh my god i was like i said really she said yeah um you know it wasn't planned or anything i said well you guys should really update google because google says you're open and we actually ended up driving all the way over there like it was just a whole mess so i was like okay well um you know thanks for letting me know but y'all should probably get google updated so long story short mama poor deals is closed i would suggest if you are coming to phoenix just to go there you call them and see if they're open Open. but um so I'm kind of bummed about it because that was like one of the main things I wanted to do while I was in Phoenix here so I said you know what well let me just see like what else can we do so I looked up on Google everything was kind of giving and like cuz I'm ready and dressed to go to Mama Bordeaux so I was like we definitely need something nice we definitely need something upscale so one of the things that I kind of just like to do is just love one of the things I like to do just because I love to travel is I like to take down the names of like restaurants and different activities and things to do in each city. And one of the restaurants that I actually had on my list for LA is called Toka Madeira. I think that's, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Toka Madeira, T-O-C-A Madeira, Toka Madeira. And I said, oh my God, they have a Scottsdale location and it's actually not too far from the Mama Por Dios. So we're actually gonna end up going to Toco Madeira instead. Um, I'm kind of excited, cause like I said, it's the place I wanted to go to while I was in LA. And I was like, okay, they have a Scottsdale location, so let's see. So we are now on the way to Toco Madeira, Scottsdale. And um, I'm excited. It's like they have steak. They specialize in their steak. Like their reviews are really good um, online. They have like a 4.5 out of five stars, so. I'm excited yet, so I'm gonna see you baddies at the restaurant. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to get cute, take some pictures, turn up. Like I said, I got I got ready, ready. Like I'm ready to go. Like I'm I'm gonna like dress up. Like <laughs> so, I was kind of like bums. Let me fix my necklace. It's kind of like bums about um Mama Portillo's, but I was like, okay, took a Madeira again. So all right, I'm gonna see you baddies at the restaurant. Peace. When I walk outside, I'm a Stuff I had it popping, popping. I'm 
64, bumping that you see. I ride slow, dollars till I die, know they can't change me. Chris Shaw getting cuts, but I'm still the same. Me, Hollywood do the most, need to take it slower. She on 30 prison, what's her now? I'm coming over. She gon' bust it like a venture when she bend it over. Baby, you a real one, yeah, he thought I told you. Okay. <laughs> was not open like that was such a bummer i'm so trusting in google like i keep trying to replay through my head like what i could have done differently and <laughs> there's nothing i can come up with but i really 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 really, really wish mama for deals was open but it wasn't so hopefully the next time i come back to phoenix mama for deals y'all are open and we can go Toka Madera was really fun. I would give it a 3.9 stars out of 5. I'm only saying 3.9 because, one, they did not have A1 steak sauce, which I thought was very odd. And overall, for the amount that I spent, I would have definitely preferred a Mastro's because they have A1 steak sauce. <laughs> like, so that's the only critique that I would have. But overall, it gave a vibe. The um, first thing we did was the starter. It came with a um, banana chip. It's like um, fried plantains basically instead of tortilla chips. So I thought that was a really good twist. Um, it is a Mexican restaurant, so it's like a twist on Mexican food or Tex-Mex. But um, like I said, they have multiple locations. Um, I initially had it on my list to try for LA, but they also have one here in Scottsdale. It's gonna be the Grand Canyon tomorrow. I'm super excited. Um, the Grand Canyon is the Grand Canyon. So um, I'm excited to take some good footage for you all and hopefully get home within a timely manner because we are taking the last flight out of Phoenix back to Dallas, so. <laughs> I'm hoping everything works out and God is with us like he is normally on every trip. Um, but overall, I had a really good time. I would definitely go um, to Taco Madera again just for their drinks. I would say overall, their drinks were really good. They had a very good drink selection. Um, the entertainment, the vibe overall. Uh, like I said, if y'all get A1 Steak Sauce, 4.5 stars out of 5. Like, I just hate eating dry steak and they have like this alternative sauce i forgot what they called it um but it was like a chili kind of pepper sauce it wasn't hot but it was good it was flavorful um so it made your steak not dry but i just prefer a1 steak sauce but the vibe overall was really good um togo madeira it was in like a shopping center the location we went to so there's like different shops and other restaurants over in that area but overall, it was a really good time. We are planning to leave super early, early in the morning for the Grand Canyon. It's about a three and a half hour drive to Phoenix um, or through from Phoenix to the Grand Canyon through Flagstaff. So with stops, maybe about four hours, give yourself a break in between. I hate driving, so I always have to take breaks. But <laughs> all right, Betty, so. All right, good morning, baddies. I'm just now picking y'all back up. We are on the road to the Grand Canyon. I'm so excited. Um, it's about a three and a half hour drive from Phoenix to the Grand Canyon. So we're giving ourselves a four hours for a buffer. We are currently on the side of the road right now. We stopped to take a break. We've been driving for maybe about an hour now. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, we're gonna um, stop for a pit break in Flagstaff, which is like a city right before you get to the Grand Canyon. Um, so yeah, I'll probably pick you guys back up then. Yeah. We belong together, me and you forever. Tell me where you've been, yeah, since I break. I'm sorry that I've been. For things you can't control, I've been in a day. I left my heart. Trying to test me, but I'm just all about my goals, like a bitch. Me, but I'm out 
to you so you hey baddie so we just paid to get into the grand canyon um if you're not a veteran without a discount $35 and it's good for seven whole days so we're driving now to the visitor center and then we're going to be going to what's called Mathers Point and that's where we're going to get our view of the Grand Canyon let's go <laughs> you can see me through though you still deserve better you stick with me cause everything I see still reminds me of you alright Betty so we just got to the visitor center parking we parked at raven one and now we are walking up to mathers point to see the grand canyon i'm so excited that's crazy I'm so scared to get close to it. Okay, I am like deadly afraid of heights. <laughs> Guys, it looks beautiful. If you guys can see, sorry. Right. <laughs> if you guys can see, it looks really beautiful. <laughs> we are going to walk around. It definitely makes you think, guys. But it's beautiful. <laughs> I've been in a days I left my heart out to you So you could see me through Though you still deserve better You stick with me Cause everything I see Still reminds me of you Back of all your things The memories of when I kissed you I am deadly afraid of heights. Although I'm pretty much in the airplane every other weekend. Don't let that fool you, y'all. I'm scared of heights. I don't do this. Once I can get over my fear of heights, it's, <laughs> it's okay. Oh my God. Like I'm scared to walk up to the edge right here. Like this is really close for me. Like for me to get here, this is close. To have each other's playlists Don't know Used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mind Yeah And maybe we could 
could try it next week again But I don't wanna think what's toxic But who cares? You said that we're over Hands under covers alone This time But everything I see Still reminds me of you Back of all your things The memories of when I kissed you I'm sorry that I blamed ya For things you can't control I've been in a daze I left my heart out to you So you could see me through Though you still deserve better You stick with me Cause everything I see to take video and then I'm running back. She's braver than me, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my God, I have to go back over here. <laughs> Salad ground to hold on to. You got that look like, oh my god, so what's happening? I'm so scared. Wait until you get to the part where there's no railing. Oh, oh, that was him, and I'm like, can you come back off the edge, please? Yeah. I'm, I'm so scared, even with the rail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't feel bad. You can still sit here and see it. I'll see yeah, it's a, yeah, I got the experience out. Okay, I'm ready to go home. Where are you guys from? I'm um, Texas. Okay, baddies, we are. Still at the Grand Canyon. We've been here for maybe a minute. The weather, might I say, is amazing. <coughs> Feeling like that direct sunlight, it feels amazing on my skin. When you go in the shade, it's kind of cold. And my nose is kind of starting to run, I think, just from being up in the elevation. Because when I was driving up, my ears were kind of popping just a little bit, like here and there. But <laughs> it's so good outside. Um, like I said, I am deathly afraid to go anywhere near the edge because I'm scared I'm going to fall into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> They're like, what are the odds of that happening? And I'm like, I will be that 1%. I am definitely afraid of heights and I am kind of clumsy. I'm scared to even put my camera and my phone over the edge because I'm scared.
scared it's gonna fall into the Grand Canyon. Like, can you imagine all the stuff that's at the bottom of the Grand Canyon? And apparently they have donkeys that you can ride down to the bottom of this thing, sleep there overnight for hours, and then, I don't know, come back, I don't know. I have no interest. After about a few photos, I was like, okay, I think I'm good. I'm uh, definitely scared of heights. <laughs> I feel like in an airplane is different because you can put the shade down and go to sleep. It's like a bus ride. But when you're standing at the edge and you can see that you're thousands of feet up and you can see the actual bottom of something, it's kind of crazy. But it is definitely, I would say, a wonder of the world. It's kind of one of me. It's... It's kind of making me want to go to Niagara Falls. So I think I'm adding that to my list. It's just Niagara Falls and you know, the humidity. You would think being from Houston, I'm used to it, but ugh. we just have to see, we have to see. The Grand Canyon, it's checked out my list, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, so we're gonna get into some more footage. So guys, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> about two hours now and our flight leaves at seven o'clock tonight it's a four hour drive oh shoot this wind oh my god the wind is vicious but this is probably one of my favorite parts of being out here in arizona because we don't have that shit in texas man our rest stops don't look like this we don't have Before we turn it back in, I'm gonna get something to eat because I am scared. But yes, I'm gonna get something to eat. The wind is blowing extremely hard to the point where I cannot breathe. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's go. Alright, we're getting back on the road. This little rest area. 
I would say if you're gonna drive from the Grand Canyon back to Phoenix or even Vegas, they said, give yourself enough time because it is a scenic route. Like you can stop and take photos, videos, just chill and relax. So I'm really glad we gave ourselves the buffer so we're not rushing to make our flight. I actually think we're gonna get there when we supposed to for a chance. <laughs> so yeah, we're just chilling. We stopped taking some pictures clean out the car a little bit so we can return the rental but we are on our way you're so amazing get a picture you're so perfect in me i'm gonna write the pistols no not the pistols i mean your attributes and the way your body moves maybe an article posing it up like a script i'm loving the role you play can i call you baby boo for Phoenix and then on the way here 10 minutes to spare for Dallas so we're getting better but I'm so ready to go home we made our flight everything we turned the rental car in we're gonna go get in my bed y'all all right getting on our some of the best sleep on airplanes. I knock out like a baby. That's why I said I'm scared of heights, but put me 30,000 feet up in the air and I'm gone. <laughs> I'm so tired. But um, but yeah, so the Grand Canyon was fun, y'all. I would go back to Phoenix again, Scottsdale anytime we could turn up. But yeah, y'all let me know down below have y'all been to the grand canyon are y'all thinking about going now let me know but y'all already know baddies we say this after every travel vlog y'all already know i'm gonna go get in my bed <laughs> okay baddies until next travel vlog i will see you all next time Peace. <laughs> We're not a fight. Putting in all the time.